A great day to one and all. I am Dr. Kim J.C. Ensho, and today I give to you problem number one. Express the non-terminating decimal, 0 0.15, 15, 15, and so on, as a fraction in simplest terms. Please give this problem a try. And if you are ready, you may, uh, if you want, you could pause the video and continue if you wanted to see the solution. And I will divulge the solution now. So I will present to you various solutions for this one. We can see that if you have four nines, if you use a calculator, if you divide four by nine, you will get the repeating decimal 0.444 and so on. If you have five over nine, you will get 0.555 and so on. If you have one third, you could express one third as three nines. That is, if you multiply both numerator and denominator by three, then you will have three nines, which is equal now to 0.333 and so on. How about if you have 99 as a denominator, if you have 14 over 99, you will see that it's 0 0.14, 14, 14, 14, and so on. If you have 5 over 99, you could see that uh, 5 is only a single digit. And since there are two nines here, then you have to place a zero that before the, uh, the 5. So you have 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, and so on. And if you have 7 over 33, you could actually check that you could make it into its equivalent fraction having a denominator of 99 by multiplying both numerator and denominator by 3. 7 times 3 gives 21. 33 times 3 gives 99. And similarly, using this, you have 0 0.21, 21, 21, and so on. If you have, how about if you have three nines, 999 as your denominator? If you have 103 over 999, that's equal to 0 0.103, 100, 300, 300, and so on. So you could see that if your denominator is 999, then expect that three digits repeat all throughout. And if you have 94 over 99, since 94 is just two digits and there are three of them, so we have to place a zero before the 94 and you have 0 0.094, 0 0.094, 0 0.094, 0 0.094, and so on. And if you have 41 over 333, we could multiply both numerator and denominator by three so that the denominator of the resulting equivalent fraction becomes 999. So 41 times 3, we have 123. 333 times 3 gives 999. And similarly, using this, and you can verify it with your calculator, it's equal to 0 0.123, 123, 123, and so on. So by using that pattern, we could see that since we have 0 0.15, 15, 15, and so on, and there are two digits being repeated. Hence, by following the pattern earlier, we have 15 over the two nines, 99, because there are only two digits that repeat. And we could see that 15 and 99 are all are both divisible by 3. So expressing this or dividing both numerator and denominator by 3, you have 5 over 33. Hence, the correct answer here is 5 over 33. But let us have another solution. Let's have solution 2 for this. Let's say we don't know the value of this decimal. So let x be equal to that uh, non-terminating but repeating decimal. So we could see that since there are two digits being repeated, multiplying both sides by 100, moves a decimal point two places going to the right. So multiplying both sides by 100, x times 100, we have 100x. 0.15, 15, 15 times 100, 
will give us 15.15, 15.15, and so on. And copying this uh, original expression here, and we could see that we could actually make the decimal parts equal to zero by subtraction. And subtracting both sides of the equation, 100x minus x gives 99x equals. If you subtract 15.15, 15, 15, 15, 15, and so on, by 0.15, 15, 15, 15, and so on, so all the decimal parts here will become zero. So you have 15.0 or simply 15. And since our goal is to solve for the value of x, we divide both sides with 99. Hence, x equals 15 over 99. And expressing this in simplest terms, we have x equals 5 over 33. I hope you got it right. So that's the second solution we could give to this problem. But we are not yet done because we have solution number three for this. Let x still be equal to 0.15, 15, 15, 15, and so on. And we could see here that if we, uh, we could actually rewrite x, this decimal here, into 15 over 100. That's the, this is the first one, 0.15. That's 1, 2. So it's 15 hundredths or 15 over 100. Plus, the second 15 here is equal to 15 thousandths or 15 over, I mean 15 uh, 10 thousandths. That's why we have here 15 over 10 thousand. Plus, the third 15 here, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's divided by one followed by six zeros or 15 over 1 million. Plus this continues forever. That's why X is equal to this expression here. Now we could see that we could actually factor one over 100. Uh, one, uh, 100 here, in fact, is the GCF of our denominators. For our numerators, I just factored out one. Um, so I, all in all, I factored one over 100. If you divide each term now by the GCF, by this, by one over 100, 15 will be retained and 100 divided by 100 will be one. So that's 15 over one or simply 15 plus 15, over 10,000 divided by 1 over 100, it's plus 15 over 100. If you divide this third one by 15 over 10,000, I mean by 1 over 100, you have 15 over 10,000. And lastly, you could continue the pattern here. And if you divide the next one here by 1 over 100, you will get 15 over 1 million and so on. And we could see here that from this given, you could actually see that 15 over 100 plus 15 over 10,000 plus 15 over 1 million is equal to what? It's equal to X here. Isn't it this one? That's why... This expression here that I just uh, placed with a red rectangle is in fact equal to x. And by substitution, we have x equals 1 over 100 times the quantity 15 plus x. Multiplying both sides by 100 gives 100x equals. Uh, what will be left on the right-hand side will be 1 times 15 plus x which is still 15 plus x because any expression multiplied by one is itself. We could see that we could subtract both sides by x, which gives 99x equals 15. And dividing both sides by 99, we have 15 over 99, which simplifies to five over 33. So you see, I have given you three solutions for this problem yet they give us the same answer. But wait, there's still more. We still have solution four for this. 
if we let x equals 0 0.15, 15, 15 be equal to its corresponding fraction here earlier, we could see that it is an infinite converging geometric series with first term equal to 15 over 100 and a common ratio of 1 over 100. How come 1 over 100? Because you could see that to get the second term, you multiply the first by 1 over 100 and you will get 15 over 10,000. If you multiply the second term, 15 over 10,000 with 1 over 100, you will get the third term, which is 15 over 1 million. And you could repeat this process indefinitely. And this forms a converging, an infinite converging geometric series. And to our grade 10 learners, the formula for an infinite converging geometric series, S is S sub infinity equals A sub 1 all over 1 minus R where S is the sum of the infinite number of terms, A sub 1 is the first term, and R is the common ratio, where the absolute value of this common ratio should be less than 1. Because if it's greater than 1, if the absolute value of your R is greater than 1, then the series does not converge. And this one, knowing that the first term is 15 over 100, the common ratio is 1 over 100. By substitution, that becomes 15 over 100 all over 1 minus the common ratio, which is 1 over 100. We could see that the denominator 1 minus 1 over 100 simplifies to 99 over 100. Hence, S sub infinity is equal to 15 over 100 all over or divided by 99 over 100. But we have to remember, when you divide, what we do is we multiply the dividend with the reciprocal of our divisor. So our dividend here is 15 over 100, and we multiply it with the reciprocal of our divisor. Our divisor here is 99 over 100, and its reciprocal is 100 over 99. So this 100 divided by 100 will become 1. And what is left is 15 over 99, which is still 5 30 thirds. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I was able to show you how to solve this problem in four ways. There are also other methods of solving this. And if you know of a particular solution, please feel free to share it with us via the comment section. And before I end, let me have this quote of the day. Mathematics gives us hope that every problem has a solution. So whatever problem or challenge we have today, let us be optimistic and hopefully we can find the solution to this. For that, TYVM, thank you very much and a great day to one and all.